welcome back to Talk 1260 KTRC, the humanity behind the vanity. This is Dr. Daniel Rennell, I'm here with my wife Betsy. I'm still here. And, and so uh, is Dr. Dr. Dodge. Dr. Rita Dodge. Yep. Uh, we just talked about food, now we're going to talk about exercise. Yeah, we're just going to, we're sort of having this like a discussion day, loose okay. summertime discussion. Fine. Yeah. So. <laughs> Languid summer. Yes. Okay, so exercise. You saw something on TV today. I saw a repeat of Oprah, and it was about, I was impressed because I liked that all this nutrition stuff that I worry that people are, you know, eating too much McDonald's and that level of food, that they're actually, it's beginning to get into the mainstream of the world. The average okay. Joe is beginning to think, yeah. gee, apple or apple pie from McDonald's. Okay. You know, they're beginning <laughs> to weigh it, and they're beginning to learn about the health benefits, and it's getting in there, slowly okay. but surely. It's Did getting they talk in about there. exercise, too? They said that every this, this, uh, some of these examples were massive weight loss cases, and every single one, not only changing their diet, of course, every single one of these people exercised. They all hated it, except for one. Right. But they did it because they knew whether they, they liked to. it or not, they have no choice. Yeah. Right. It's just yeah. part of their life in order to maintain a healthy life. A lot of my so. patients exercise a lot, actually. And, I hate and exercising. They, you know, they ask me, well, why isn't this getting rid of my love handles, or why isn't it getting rid of this... You know, flab in front of my uh, belly button. It's because you can't spot reduce with exercise. So when you burn calories, your whole body thins. And the first place to go is the visceral fat, the fat that's inside you, which is important. Yeah, it's critical. And yeah. that's yeah. what's healthy, and that's great. Right, the right. central stuff goes away, but the, right. the fat underneath your skin doesn't really go away. So even people who exercise regularly are candidates for a body contouring procedure or liposuction. On the other hand. When you're really, really overweight, then you have to exercise and diet even before you have one of these procedures Absolutely. because it it's, can be sort of a waste of money. I've done a lot of tummy tucks, and then the person has a great result, nice scar, but they still have the cannonball, you know, right. that, 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 uh, and, and when it's I, that inner right, fat. and they say, Doc, yeah. why am I still like this? I, and I point to them, I, and I, I press on the skin and I pinch their skin and I say, see, you don't have any fat under your skin. Right. That, that's not where it is. It's all inside, inside. you. So, and, and actually, Oprah has done some things with when Dr. Oz was on right. and uh, people are always talking to me about the medical stuff that comes up there and the yeah. omentum yeah. and he'll right. come and show the healthy momentum, right. which is fat, but mm -hmm. we are supposed to have a very thin layer of right. fatty omentum right. versus the really, really, really fat and right. very, very unhealthy looking. Right. And it really is that visceral fat yeah. that increases so many of the risks. Yes. Omentum is one of my favorite words. It means apron in Greek <laughs> because it's an apron right. that drapes okay. over your organs and it goes around and cleans things up, actually. It's got yeah. all, but most of the blood supply inside you is within the omentum. Mm -hmm. the so, you know, with exercise, again, you can't spot reduce. You can't do crunches ad infinitum in order to get rid of the fat on your abdomen. It's just going to make your muscle tighter. I think exercise is great because it's going to make you a healthier person, so you'll get through surgery easier. Right. Um, but, you know, especially with the buttocks, though, I must say, there are great exercises for the what butt. What about the buttocks? It's yes. my favorite body part. There are great <laughs> exercises that don't... So ladies, when he's checking you on the street, you know what he's looking okay. at. <laughs> there are great exercises to firm, lift, and tone the buttocks that uh, surgery cannot touch, oh. actually. Squats. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over. Amazing. Yeah. Hard mm -hmm. on your knees, More but important amazing. Surgery, right? mm -hmm. God, they're amazing. Or walking um, down a hill, or up yeah. a hill backwards. We had right. a personal trainer on right. uh, that showed us exercises for that. Yeah. Mm. She didn't show us. She talked about she, them. Right. Basically. A lot of leg lift stuff. Right. Yeah. I right. just, yeah. And every time I walk up a hill, whether I'm hiking or just walking up my own hill in my driveway, mm -hmm. I, and she said, if you can focus on the area that you want to uh, target, yeah. the muscle area that you want to target, that there's been studies, she said, that have shown that that increases the results, I think, like 20% or something Good. like that. Huh. So I always walk up when I'm going to get the mail or something, and I think about my this part that supports my butt. <laughs> Okay, well, well it seems are. to be working for you. Oh, thanks so much. Oh, thanks so much. <laughs> All right. oh. Okay, so anyway, so, so, but what I liked about this Oprah show, I and mean, Daniel always brings it back to plastic surgery because that's all the man thinks about. <laughs> but so what I loved is that, that health is pervading the masses now. It's getting out there. It's getting in there. People realize, wow, just because McDonald's is on my corner doesn't mean I have to go there. Right. So what do you think of that? Well, Dr. I mean, I, I think it's been... 
sort of a, f a turn back from a tide that has happened over the last 30 to 50 years in the co this country in terms of such a radical change in diet and lack of exercise. I mean, our lifestyles have become more sedentary and our food has become more processed yes. and the whole thing together has made us heavier and less healthy. Right. So um, so I think that you know in talking about the mainstream getting back into it, it really is just kind of going back to old ways. Good. You know? Yeah. I mean I think yeah. this country unfortunately prospered and people got some more money and the whole fifties housewives being rescued from the kitchen right. and no longer having to scrub floors and just use this chemical and uh, you know right. don't do dishes put them in the dishwasher I mean dishwashers are fine but the point being is that it was all about Physical. do less right. yeah. it's right. better to do less it's better to have an right. easier life right pop in the microwave and throw away microwave right. Right. exactly right. and actually we have to go back yeah. to uh, washing dishes and scrubbing some floors right. and cooking our food right. and walking to the grocery store right. and doing all of that so it really is actually just going back to what people always did and, and what our bodies done. need right. obviously if being fat is not a natural state you were not born that way no. right. and did not start out that way right so being fat is a very very negative result of something in your makeup or your lifestyle whatever it is you are not supposed to be that way right. nothing right. against you if you are I, mean, <laughs> I totally get it but right. They really, you're just not supposed to be that way right and it you also know. leads to a solution that there are you know, solutions for yeah. any kind of obesity, you know, yeah. except for the very rare medical right. types of obesity, but sure. there, there are, uh, you know, solutions, you just have to find the right one for you. There's so many different books and diet and start out, and such but, out but there. But baby steps, a lot of these people yeah. who had, you know, this 100 plus pound weight loss said it was just baby steps. Right. One of the baby steps my father always used to say, was, say to me was... Um, he was a big internist in New York. Yeah, he uh, always used to say, Never take the stair. Never take the elevator. Always take the stairs. Right. Always park, except if it's at the supermarket and you're gonna and you know you're gonna have a big load. Always park as far away right. as you can from the store's entrance. Right. Right. He said those are two quick answers to get a teensy weensy bit of exercise, and he would tell his obese patients that. Do as many stairs for them. It's harder because you know there's. Um, you know, all kinds of other issues going on because right. of their obesity, but he would say do as many steps as you can till you get to the next floor, right. then take the elevator from there. But any time you can replace something, somebody doing something for you right. to do it yourself right. is one step in the right direction. I was in residency when I met you, and uh, you told me that what your dad said, and I started taking the stairs. I remember, <laughs> you know, it was like 25 floors. Right, he used to take the today. stairs in Mount Sinai. Right. That can take there. a while. Yeah, oh my, <laughs> my, well, my dad would race <laughs> himself. He was quite competitive, so he would be like, okay, today I'm going to get this time. Today I'm going to do this. Oh, sure. this fast. Or if he had patients that were waiting for him for two hours, you know he was busting his butt up those stairs, right. that little guy. So think Think differently. Think, exactly. think move, not Think time to, to move. Things up. Right, so right. You know our producer. And I, and I, and I just want to say one more thing. No, of course, always. I, I'm not condemning people who are fat. I, I, it has nothing to do with whether you're a nice or smart person whatsoever. I'm just saying. Healthy. Exactly. It's something I realized today. Wow, the natural state of the human body is not to be 400 pounds. Right. And that's why you don't feel good when you are. No matter what kind of justifications you give yourself. You know in your heart, you know you could be looking different. All right, thanks for listening. But I love you in any shape, size, whatever. You've love been you. listening to The Humanity Behind yeah. Vanity, Talk 1260 KTRC. We'll be back next week. Thank you.